One. Listen and practice. The tsunami in Indonesia, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Many people came from countries all around the world to help, too. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. The Tsunami in Indonesia, 2004 The Tsunami in Indonesia, 2004 The Tsunami in Indonesia, 2004 One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami. that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. That traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed.
By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns.
People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. Listen and practice. The tsunami in Indonesia, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Many people came from countries all around the world to help, too. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. The Tsunami in Indonesia 2004. The Tsunami in Indonesia, 2004. The Tsunami in Indonesia, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26, 2004. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami.
that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. That traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. That traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Many people came from countries all around the world to help too. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers.
One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. People save things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. People save things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. People save things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. Two. Listen and practice. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him. My dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor. Listen and practice. Who is your favorite teacher? Who is your favorite teacher? Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Is he a foreign teacher? Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. Yes, he's from the U.S. Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons?
What do you like about his lessons? What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? What's he like? What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. He always treats us like friends, not students. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? What does he usually wear when coming to class? What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Do you love his subject? Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Yes. I enjoy English a lot.
Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Do students in your class like him? Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Yes, all of us admire him. Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? Do you want to be a teacher like him? Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. I would like to be a chef. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? Have you ever been punished by him? Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. No, he rarely punishes anyone. No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Do you want to see him again? Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor. Of course, he's a great mentor.
Of course, he's a great mentor. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him. My dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor. Listen and practice. Who is your favorite teacher? Who is your favorite teacher? Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Is he a foreign teacher? Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. Yes, he's from the U.S. Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? What do you like about his lessons? What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like?
What's he like? What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. He always treats us like friends, not students. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? What does he usually wear when coming to class? What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Do you love his subject? Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Yes. I enjoy English a lot. Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Do students in your class like him? Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Yes, all of us admire him. Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him?
Do you want to be a teacher like him? Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. I would like to be a chef. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? Have you ever been punished by him? Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. No, he rarely punishes anyone. No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Do you want to see him again? Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor. Of course, he's a great mentor. Of course, he's a great mentor. Three. Listen and practice. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. Listen and practice. There are so many bus stops.
There are so many bus stops. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? How do I know which stop to wait at? How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. It's written on the bus schedule. It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? Where can I find the bus schedule? Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. You can look it up online. You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Everything is online nowadays. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. Yes, it makes things convenient. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. You can check the destination on each bus. You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. Ask a bus driver for help. Ask a bus driver for help. Listen and practice. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. Listen and practice. There are so many bus stops. There are so many bus stops. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. 
Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? How do I know which stop to wait at? How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. It's written on the bus schedule. It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? Where can I find the bus schedule? Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. You can look it up online. You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Everything is online nowadays. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. Yes, it makes things convenient. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. You can check the destination on each bus. You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. Ask a bus driver for help. Ask a bus driver for help. Four. Listen and practice. Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? She has shoulder-length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. 
Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. Listen and practice. Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. It's Jenny. She's my best friend. It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? She has shoulder length brown hair. She has shoulder length brown hair. She has shoulder length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. I just love her lovely smile. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? How and when did you meet? How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. I first met her when we were in high school. I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? How often do you see this friend? How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. I see her every day. We're in the same class. I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? What's she like? What's she like? She's not only thoughtful but also very understanding.
She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Do you and her share anything in common? Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? What do you and her do together? What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. We usually do homework and read books together. We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Have you and her ever quarreled? Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. Yes, but we seldom quarrel. Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Does she know how to cook? Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Yes, 
Yes, but she's not a great cook. Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Do your parents like her? Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? Why is a friend important in life? Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. A good friend can make your life better in many ways. A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. Listen and practice. Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? She has shoulder length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. Listen and practice.
Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. It's Jenny. She's my best friend. It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? She has shoulder length brown hair. She has shoulder length brown hair. She has shoulder length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. I just love her lovely smile. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? How and when did you meet? How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. I first met her when we were in high school. I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? How often do you see this friend? How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. I see her every day. We're in the same class. I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? What's she like? What's she like? She's not only thoughtful but also very understanding. She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. 
She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Do you and her share anything in common? Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? What do you and her do together? What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. We usually do homework and read books together. We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Have you and her ever quarreled? Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. Yes, but we seldom quarrel. Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Does she know how to cook? Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Yes, but she's not a great cook.
Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Do your parents like her? Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? Why is a friend important in life? Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. A good friend can make your life better in many ways. A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. Five. Where did you go for holiday? Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Why did you choose that destination? I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. How long did it last? I stayed there for two weeks. Who went with you? I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. How did you travel? We flew there, of course. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. What did you pack up? I only brought some necessary items such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. What did you do during the holiday? We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? Well, it has changed a lot. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago, traveling abroad seemed hard. At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? It depends on what job people have. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. Listen and practice. Where did you go for holiday? Where did you go for holiday?
Where did you go for holiday? Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Why did you choose that destination? Why did you choose that destination? Why did you choose that destination? I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. How long did it last? 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 I stayed there for two weeks. I stayed there for two weeks. I stayed there for two weeks. Who went with you? Who went with you? Who went with you? I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. How did you travel? How did you travel? How did you travel? We flew there, of course. We flew there, of course. We flew there, of course. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. What did you pack up? What did you pack up? What did you pack up? I only brought some necessary items such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. I only brought some necessary items such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. I only brought some necessary items such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. What did you do during the holiday?
What did you do during the holiday? What did you do during the holiday? We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? Well, it has changed a lot. Well, it has changed a lot. Well, it has changed a lot. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago, traveling abroad seemed hard. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago, traveling abroad seemed hard. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago, traveling abroad seemed hard. At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? It depends on what job people have. It depends on what job people have. It depends on what job people have. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel.